So in this problem we've got two charges, Q3 and Q2, and they are separated by 75 centimeters, with uh, Q3 being at the origin, x equals zero. Um, and we want to know where along the x-axis is the electric field equal to zero. Well, it's got to be in one of these three domains, right? And um, it can't be in between the two charges because the electric fields due to the two charges, you know, the electric field due to charge three points to the right, and the electric field due to charge two also points to the right. So there's no place that in the middle there that the net electric field can cancel out. I'm going to suggest that we go over here, <clears throat> and the reason why is because if we want the electric fields to cancel out, we need the magnitudes, right? We need E2 to equal E3, and we need to point them in opposite directions. Now over here, E3 points that way, and E2 points that way, okay? And uh, so KQ3 over R3 squared has to equal KQ2 over R2 squared, at least the magnitudes have to equal. <clears throat> so over here on the right-hand side, of course, Q3 is larger, and the only way to make these two quantities equal one another is if R3 is also larger, right? Because if Q3 is larger and everything else is the same, then this side is going to be bigger, and that's no good. You want them to be equal. So if Q3 and R3 are both larger, that works. And over here, see, the distance, the distance to R2 here is smaller than the distance that goes all the way over here to R3. So we're in good shape there. So I'm going to set that up. Uh, I'm going to write k times 3 over, now r3, the distance to q3 is just x, that's the x component, because remember, q3 is at the origin. <clears throat> and uh, charge 2 would look like this, x minus 0.75 squared, right? You know, for example, if r3 is, you know, 2, then uh, we'd have to subtract 0.75 from that and get 1.25. Anyway. So, uh, and you notice that I've only uh, listed the magnitudes of the two charges here, right? I put plus 3 and plus 2 here because we're just trying to make the magnitudes of these two numbers equal. Um, okay, so simplifying, the k's go away, and then if I swap these quantities here, I get 3 over 2 is equal to x squared over x minus 0.75 squared. Well, now I take the square root of both sides, and I'm left with the square root of 1.5 is equal to x over x minus 0.75. Uh, and now I cross multiply again, right? I got, I, I take 1.5 and I multiply it there, and I take the x and multiply it there. Uh, doing that <clears throat> gives me, uh, let's see, uh, 1.22x minus 0.92 equals x, and from there, 0.22x is equal to 0.92, so x is 4.2 meters. So there's my answer to the first part. You ought to be at a location, a coordinate x equals 4.2 meters in for order for the electric fields to cancel. Now for the second part, we're putting a charge, some charge here, Q6, uh, located at x equals 44 centimeters. Okay, I'm going to redraw this so it's not... Okay, so we got Q3, we got Q6, and we got Q2. Now Q6 is a negative, and we want to know what is the magnitude and direction of the net electric force. Well, uh, the electric force due to charge 3 is going to be attractive, and the electric force due to charge 2 is going to be repulsive, so they're going to point in the same direction, they're going to point to the left. I just need to find the magnitudes of these two things and add them together. Okay, so uh, let's start with the magnitude of F3. Uh, that's going to be K Q3 Q6 over R3 6 squared. Okay, so there's my Coulomb constant. There's charge Q3, charge Q6 and uh, divided by the distance, 0.44 squared. Uh, I guess I should point out here, uh, you know, you see I'm using the uh, 
the scientific notation exponents here, and I didn't use them up here. Why not? Well, because if I put times 10 to the minus 6 on both sides, and they're equal to each other, then they would just cancel out, so I ignored them. Sorry about that. I should have explained that when I did it. Anyway, this works out to be 0 0.837. 837. And it's in the minus x direction. Now we're going to find f2. Okay, so that's uh, kq2, q6 over r26 squared. So I'll write out all my numbers. The distance, since the difference, since they're 75 centimeters apart and we're 44 centimeters away from Q2, or sorry, we're 44 centimeters away from Q3, we must be 31 centimeters away from Q2 because 44 and 31 add up to 75. Uh, so this works out to be 1.124, also in the minus x direction. And so the total force is, uh, at least the magnitude of the total force is 0.837 plus 1.124, so that works out to be about 2.0 newtons, and the direction is minus x. Now, you got to be careful, magnitude and direction, right? You notice, again, uh, I left out the minus sign right here, on the, right here on the number, on the 2 times 10 to the minus 6, and also left out the minus sign on the 6 microcoulomb charge, right? And that's because I'm only calculating the magnitudes of these forces. Right? I'm calculating the magnitudes and the direction that it's in the minus x direction. I already figured that out up here. Right? I'm not going to throw a bunch of minus signs in here and get you know, minus 0.837 and plus 1.124 because then that would screw up my calculation over here. I'm just going to add the magnitudes because that's what my diagram up here tells me to do. And then the direction is in the minus x direction. Right? So that's very important. One of the things this problem is testing for is to make sure you, do, you have these as the same, the same sign, and you add them rather than subtracting. That's it.